the phone, he uses all my stuff without asking, including my toothbrush. And he's always making personal remarks. But you've got to admit, he's a great rider. And he's kind of cute looking. Saddle clubbers, can I ask for a little bit of sympathy here? Oh, nice round. Perfect. Bravo, Marie. No mistakes, but more importantly, control. Carol? All it takes is control, Carol. Yeah, when I need advice from you, I'll quit riding. Oh, touchy. Don't forget, control, Carol. You rushed him, Carol. Oh, tough break. He can sure push Carol's buttons. Yeah, <laughs> it's such fun to watch. <laughs> Creep. Wish me luck with my music exam. You'll be fine. Carol, it's not the end of the world. See ya. I know paws up all the time. Don't have a cow, Carol. It's better than being one. You are natural, Mari. Thank you. No, it's not good. It means you think you don't have to train. Do you hear that, Carol? She thinks I'm a natural. It's good we've been seeing such a lot of each other. I'll be able to give you some pointers. Carol? I saw that, Carol. You're mucking out the stables for the rest of the day. <laughs> but Red, I'll help. Side, Carol. I mean, take Phil, for example. We had a great date, a great time all around. I thought it was the beginning of something big. Then nothing. No phone calls, no nothing. I haven't turned invisible, have I? Come on, Carol. Murray's got his own problems. He just lost his dad. Maybe another thing could be, well, you know, with your dad having feelings for Murray's mom, you're feeling left out and you want to get back at him. Thanks, Stevie. Nice try. But you don't have to live with him. Murray is a total twisted creep who's trying to get inside my head and mess with it. I could use the soda. What about you? No, thanks. I wouldn't mind being alone for a bit. I saw it in Glam and just had to send away for it. You've got to send away. I mean, you just can't get this sort of sophistication at Willow Creek. The shopping is pathetic here. <sighs> Don't you just love the little flowers? Mm, red roses. Symbol of love. How romantic. How hot. Was it expensive? I used Dad's credit card. He's gonna go crazy when the statement comes in. Hi. Haven't seen much of you around, Phil. Haven't seen you around much either. Oh, I've been around, if you wanted to find me. Same here. So it's up to me to find you. Well, if I can't find you... Did you look? What for? Because I thought we were friends. Did I miss something? Is there something wrong with me? 
I'm not that bad looking, am I? Can I help you with something? Pardon? Are you looking for someone? No. stranger wandering around in here, did you? A stranger? No. Everything seems okay. Everything is okay, isn't it? Of course. Everything is fine, Stevie. You're late. Yeah. You okay? I've just been shoveling manure for two hours, so I've been better. Sounds like punishment detail. Yeah. Why? Murray was driving me nuts, so... So I did something back, which I shouldn't have done. I know Murray rubbed you the wrong way. But you gotta cut the kid some slack. He's having a tough time at the moment because of his dad's death. I know that. But why does he have to stay here? Larry was a good friend. So it's out of respect for a buddy as much as anything else. Yeah. I'm sorry. Won't be for long. I think you should try talking to him. Hi, guys. Look, we really need our glassware. Huh? What? Yeah. We wash the glasses and then use them again. But our system just won't work if you take them home. So please. Well, well, well. <laughs> Must have jumped in there like a frog. Wow, look at that. It jumped right out of my hand. Careful, Carol. Uh, let me just get this up. Apology accepted. What? I just hope you've learned your lesson. No, Murray, I, I came here to... Just say sorry. About time, too. Who do you think you are? I know who I am. But you think you're a nice person. Are you really? I'm glad I pushed the horse into you, and I'd do it again. You've got a control problem, Carol. Oh, no. Sorry, Scooter. She doesn't mean it. Hello? Okay, be like that. There was someone there, but they're not talking. Oh, were you waiting for a call, Dorothy? No, no. Are you okay? Yes, of course. You look as though you've got something on your mind. You're a very sweet man, Red. Actually, I should really thank you for pushing me to get my instructor's accreditation. You've got it? Yep. <gasps> Bravo! <laughs> I'd really appreciate it if you gave me some pointers, though. Of course. Where shall I begin? It's up to you. on that.
I've tried, Mum. He's hopeless. Where's who? Another lame, pathetic saddle club joke. Which we don't get. Well, nor do we, because we don't know what you're talking about. Where's Garnet? Garnet's missing. As if he didn't know. He probably woke up, thought, oh no, not another day of Veronica, and took off. <laughs> okay, okay, have your fun. We're going to the designer label sale at the mall, but I want my horse back in its stall before I get back. Got it? Grow up, why don't you? And make sure he's brushed and combed. What was all that about? Isn't Garnet there? Even Veronica couldn't miss seeing a horse in its stall. Could she? I don't know. She really has her mind on those bargains. Not here. Uh, maybe Red took him out. Oh my gosh! We have your horse. If you want it back, get $1,000 in unmarked notes and wait. Don't call the police. If you tell anyone, the horse will get hurt. I think we should tell Max now. Look what the note says. Garnet will get hurt. Do you think they mean it? We can't take any chances. Anyway, I think I know who really did it. Who? Yesterday, I caught this guy wandering around. He looked real suspicious. Suspicious? Why? He was foreign. How could you tell? He had an accent. You can't be suspicious of people just because they have an accent. Dorothy has an accent. That's the funny thing. They're both French, and when I asked her if she'd seen this guy, I think she was covering up. <sighs> Slow down. Are you saying this guy you think has Garnet is a friend of Dorothy's? Yeah, I do. <sighs> so you think Dorothy's in on it? Dorothy already owns the best horse in the stables. Anyway, I know who really did it. Who? I'm not gonna say until I've proved it. Murray? Carol, you may not like the guy, but come on. Okay. But let's agree not to tell anyone until I've checked Murray out. He's only here because of me. Murray, wait up! Murray, I need to talk to you. I haven't used your toothbrush, I haven't got any of your CDs, and I haven't taken anything that's not mine. You did. Oh, really? What? You took Garnet. Garnet. Veronica's horse. You snuck out last night, took him from Pine Hollow, and left a ransom note. Have you finished? I won't tell anyone if you go and get Garnet and put him back unharmed. <laughs> You've gone loopy, Carol. I haven't taken any horse. Then where were you coming back from at four in the morning? I thought you of all people would understand. I miss my father. He hasn't been dead long and when I can't sleep, I, I walk. You must let Antoine out. Antoine? Huh? I'm sorry, Antoine. She's just a kid. In France, the children are better behaved. Stevie, I'd like you to meet Antoine Sané. Antoine um, has come here 
to visit me. Enchanté. Likewise. Hey, Stevie. We've got to talk. What have I done? Nothing. Then why are you freezing me out? Well, because we had such a good time on our date, and then nothing. Stevie, give me a break. I've never had a girlfriend before. I don't know what to do next. There aren't any rules. You... you just do what seems right. Well, do you want to see a movie sometime? Great, that's settled. Have you seen Carol? Yeah. She was keeping out of sight following Murray. Where were they heading? Willow Creek Forest. shouldn't have come. You better not have hurt him. Or what? You'll make us pay. Who are these guys? Well, don't whip out on us now, Murray. It's time to make the call. Guys, this whole thing's getting too heavy. Why don't we pull the plug? Because then we wouldn't make any money. And that's why we came here. Make the call. OK, send a text message. Bring $1,000 to JB's tonight. Tell no one, or else the horse will get hurt. Don't do it, Murray. Don't interrupt him. I bet you two have a lot to discuss. We'll be just outside in case you're thinking of doing anything. You know. Why, Murray? You wouldn't understand. Try me. Borrowed money off those guys. A lot. <laughs> now I need to pay them back or else. Why did you need to? Because Mum and I have got nothing. Dad had a gambling problem. All our savings went down the drain. Mum needed money, so I borrowed. You saw straight through me from day one. I'm such a loser. Now I've messed up. Big time. Poor mum. I'm sorry, Carol. You were right. It's about control. Take it back from them. Take it back from those creeps. Do it, Murray. I'll help you. Where do you think you're going? It's over, guys. You won. much, but they bite.
So, you were right about Murray. Not completely. Poor Murray. He's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Mum. Let's put it behind us, Murray. I'm sorry, Colonel Hanson. I admire the way you face the music, son. The police will be here in a minute, but uh, it's not looking too bad. Look, whatever happens, I'm sorry for the things I've done in your stables. No. She got a job interstate. I still don't get it. You steal my horse and make me worry. What's the joke again? It's a saddle club joke, Veronica. It's sick and no one laughs. Veronica, did you get a message on your phone earlier? Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. Hey, Christy, what was that about? Like you didn't know. No what? Her dad freaked when he got the last bill. He confiscated her cell phone for a month. She didn't even know Garnet was stolen. <laughs> won't be the same without you and Hugo here, Dorote. After a bumpy start, we really got on so well. Ah, oh, Pine Hollow will really miss your style and flair, Dorote. I will certainly miss all of you. If I do leave, that is. You're actually thinking of not going? I've grown very fond of this strange place, so far from home. But you'd be turning your back on trialing for the Olympics. Is that is true? But the heart is also very important. And my heart tells me you have all become my friends. I do not like to turn my back on my friends. And Red is also my friend. Go, go, go. Oh, Miss Dorothy. She's got real class. You don't know what you're talking about, Scooter. Sure I do. You see, the Irish and the French are very similar. Except for the language, and the culture, and the food. And they've got Paris, they've got Dublin, and they've got... She Chaos. should follow her heart. Yeah, but it's not like every day of the week you get a chance to represent your country. Country? <laughs> Who cares about your country? It's her career that matters. She and Ren have something very special. Friendship is worth more than a career. You should be able to have both, shouldn't you? Don't talk soppy. Boys come and boys go. But riding in the Olympics, that's a memory that will last longer than any guy. No, love is what is important. And it's pretty obvious you've got a crush on Red, Lisa. Huh? Well, you're always talking about Red and love. But that doesn't make sense. If I had a crush on him, I'd want Dorothy to go back to France. Leaving Red behind for me. Okay, guys, can we talk about something else? Dorote is old enough to make up her own mind. It's really none of our business. Yes, it is. She needs our help. She needs help so she doesn't make a terrible mistake. Boys just don't understand.
Hey there, Dorothy. Managing? Hugo has been difficult. Uh, I kind of regret not spending more time with you, Dorothy. And now it looks like I've left my run a bit late. I'm not sure what that means. Well, I mean, you're going home and we never really got acquainted. I haven't decided anything yet. For certain. Well, in that case, I wonder, would you like to go out sometime? I will talk to Antoine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought so. No, no, Red. I, I would love to come out with you. It's just that Antoine wants me to do a conference call to the Olympic Selection Committee. I just must ask him which night. So, it's a date then? It's a date, yes. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Deborah. Okay, Red. Can you believe it? Dorothy trying out for a place in the Olympics. As a junior, too. <sighs> After all she's been through, she deserves it. Be a shame if anything got in her way. See ya. You sure picked the right night. Chef does a beautiful chocolate special on Tuesdays. I'm not saying the other things aren't great as well, you know. It's, it's just that the, the chef's specials are, well, special. Yeah. A scooter? Yeah. Uh, I think they're ready to order over there. Well, I'll get around to them. Can you get around to them now? <clears throat> yeah, you got it. <laughs> you must feel kind of proud Antoine made such a long journey to see you ride. Of course. Or did he come here for any other reasons? Oh, no, Red. He's an Olympic selector. He does not have any feelings for me. And if he did, I would have to tell him I have feelings for someone else. And who is that? Can't you guess? Do you feel the same way about me? Be a shame if anything got in her way. Dorothy, I've been thinking. We have such different lives. Maybe we shouldn't get too close. Maybe before we had a chance, but now. So uh, that'll be two chocolate specials, will it? <clears throat> so that'll be one chocolate special, will it? <clears throat> you won't find a better chocolate mud cake anywhere. You'll regret it. I already do. Hi, Dorothy. How did last night go? I found out what I needed to know. What was that? That I like her more than he likes me. <laughs> it simplifies things, really. It makes a decision whether to stay or go much easier. It's for the best. But what did Red say? It's what he didn't say. I told him my feelings and he was very cold. I don't understand. Leave it, Lisa. No. Lisa, back off. Maybe Red should go back to France with you until you've sorted out your feelings. No. Red's place is here. Keep out of it, Lisa. Red, what went wrong last night? Everything went right. But Dorothy is so upset. She shouldn't be. We made it easy for her to do the right thing. Which is? What's important is Dorothy's riding future. I've stepped aside so she can follow her star. So you didn't mean what you told her last night? Did what had to be done. You've got to say how you feel. Never mind about anything else. And there are a lot of other things against it. 
Dorote's French and sophisticated. I'm just a stable hand from the back of beyond. So if you're so different, how come you've got such big feelings for each other? I saw her again. Hanging around Red, whispering in his ear, pretending to be so understanding. That's the saddle club for you. They're all as bad as each other, always thinking they know best. I'm going to have a word to Red myself. Remind him of all the good things he'd be leaving behind if he chases after Dorote. And tell him how much I like him. What's the matter, fella? Something you ain't giving you grief? Every time you go near her, she behaves like this. You cannot handle a horse like you go. Huh? You ruin it for the time. Stick to what you know. Antoine. Well, get out of your way, mister. Red. <sighs> Antoine, you should not have said such things. But he's excellent at handling all horses. Oh, Dorothy, I will be relieved when you and, uh, you and you go out of here and back in the real world. This place has changed you. I like Pine Hollow. <laughs> That is uh, not what you said in your emails, no? If you would just open your mind, like I did, you'd come to like and respect all the people here. Hopefully. I will have left before that. Nasty little girls. Thanks, Dorote. And a silly boy called Red, who is a paysan lourdeau, clumsy peasant. Are you sure Dorote wrote that? Signed, Dorote. We don't know any other Dorotes, do we? I can't believe it. Look on the bright side, Red. It's better to find out how two-faced she is early on, before you make any big decisions. Local girls are better read. You'll see. Hugo! Hugo, no! I will fail if he's like this. What is wrong with him? He's picking up the bad habits from the other horses. We must keep him by himself. No! Oui! Oui, absolument! Hope you're big enough to admit that you were wrong. You're the one who's wrong. Going around showing something private to everyone, that's wrong. No, it's wrong of you to push an all-round nice guy like Red together with a two-faced Dorote. I think Dorote should try out for the Olympics and not stay with Red. But what you've done is really mean, Christy. It's cruel. Sometimes you've got to be cruel to be kind. Red, just a minute. Red, no matter what happens, I hope we will always be friends. Really? Why would you want to be friends with a clumsy peasant? What is wrong with him? He's usually so even-tempered. It seems like he's angry about something. Are you okay, Dorote? Not really. Red is acting not like a friend. Okay, so we cannot be close. But still, he should not act so cold. It hurts me. Dorote, we know why Red is being like this. Why? Tell me. It's because of what you said about him. When? In an email. What email? Christy picked up an email and one dropped in the stables. And in it, he said some really mean things about Red. That email? I sent it the day I arrived here. I was homesick and... and uh, I was in pain from my hiding injury. Of course I do not feel those things now. 
We must find Red. Hi. Hi. Hey there. Do you think Dorote should go back to France? Of course. Yeah? You should tell her. It would be so awful if she did the wrong thing and stayed here. Well, I wouldn't say it's the wrong thing. Of course it is. Why? Because what if nobody went back to where they came from? There'd be no room for anybody else. We know you've got a crush on Red. Who says? Everybody. <sighs> don't talk about things you don't understand. What's there to understand? You've got the hots for him. <sighs> You're both so juvenile and immature. Quite pathetic. Aren't you meant to get smarter as you get older? It's not true, is it? Nah. Come on, pal. Settle down. Red? I am very sorry about what I said in the email. But how could you even think those things? I was a different person then. It was a bad time in my life. And because I was hurting, I wanted to hurt others. But I do not feel those things now. In fact, I really, really like your head. You must know that. Oops. Sorry. Bad timing. So, you guys are OK? Better than OK. <laughs> I've been watching Hugo. I think he's lonely. Antoine's keeping him separated from the other horses, and he hates it. So you think he's not seeing enough of his friends? Yes. Why don't we take them on a big outing tomorrow? All together, like old times. <clears throat> what do you think? We must do something. I cannot do the trial, Lexis. Did you want to see me, Max? Ah, oh, yes, Dorote. I, uh, need to ask your advice. Antoine has just made me this amazing offer that I'm, I'm deliberating whether to take. What is it? To take master classes at the Ecole d'Equitation at Lyon. But that is a great honor. They only take 10 people a year. So you think I should? Of course. It is the opportunity of a lifetime, Max. But, I mean, how can I leave Pine Hollow for three months? I'll hold down the fort. And your mum will be back, don't forget. You will regret not to go, Max. Mm. I hope you all have a good time. <laughs> Looks like Hugo's already having a good time. <laughs> Fred is taking Hugo out for a walk with his friends. But your trial is in three hours. Antoine, it was wrong of you to keep Hugo apart from the other horses. This place has made you crazy. You cannot entrust your precious horse to a, a stable hand and a bunch of 13-year-olds. Fred is the best horse handler I've ever come across. And these 13-year-olds are not far behind him. This whole thing was their idea, and it is already working. Look how calm Hugo is. Well, that's telling him. Dorothy, you are making a mistake. I'll see you soon, Hugo. Just like people, don't you think? Nah, -uh. they're not as weird. <laughs> <laughs> we better get Hugo back.
Are you nervous? I'm not about to try it. About what then? I feel um, torn. If I succeed in the trial, I will return to France and have a chance to ride in the Olympics. But? But it means I will leave Red behind and I will be disappointed. If I fail the trial, I will stay at Pine Hollow, but Red will be disappointed. I have not followed my star. I guess Hugo will decide for all of us then. Yes, maybe. We'll soon see. She could get into the Olympics on looks alone. Looks are deceptive. stumbled on that second flame change. Everything else was perfect. Dorothée, you need 87% uh, or more to qualify. You have 92%. Uh, <sighs> Congratulations, Dorothée. Congratulations, Dorothée. I'm really proud of you, Dorothée. You're gonna bring home a gold medal for sure. back in time, Stevie. Otherwise, I would not have seen you before I left. Things surely move fast at Pine Hollow, don't they? <laughs> Here's somebody to say goodbye. <laughs> I'll not be saying goodbye to Red, but au revoir. What's the difference? Au revoir means until we see each other again. That's nice. Saddle Club, I um, think it's uh, time we had a Saddle Club meeting. Huh? I agree. L let's go have that Saddle Club meeting. Oh, yeah, the meeting. 